Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through importing your stock into Retailman. So firstly we want to locate the exported stock file um, and here you can see that Microsoft Excel 97 to 2003 is the file type. This is the one that uh, works best with Retailman. Newer versions tend to make a mess of the uh, import, so just stick to 97 to 2003. You want to open this. Um, here you can go through the exported data if you would like to. Uh, make changes as you will, or hopefully it's all fine. Um, as you can see here, part number, description, price, cost, quantity. These are options that um, are made to export um, in Retail Man. Um, and we'll have to do the same options in order to import. Um, and I'll show you that soon. If you would like to save the file into a lower version in case yours didn't, um, you can go into here and choose 97-2003.xls to file here. Alright, so we're going to go into Retail Man. We're going to choose Maintenance. And we're going to choose Data Export Import. Here we've got um, Choose Data File. We're going to do Stock. You've got these other options here. Clients, Suppliers, Contacts, Accounts and Equivalent PNOS. Uh, stock it is here this is the um, data fields for the Excel file that I was telling you about earlier so we need to choose part number details retail cost and quantity um, yep these will be um, imported into the data field down here we want to do import um, if you would like to export, it's uh, the same process, just a couple of less options. Um, import new records, um, brings new data into Retail Man, and of course update existing records, um, updates or overwrites data um, in, the, in the stock. Here, file type, Excel spreadsheet, this is what we're using, CSV, tab delimited and database files these are other options but we're going with Excel here you can type in the location but here we'll be uh, we'll just search for it okay and to bring the data in we're going to click anywhere in this box here firstly we want to untick this first one because we do not need this to come into um, the import um, and then we're going to import and it will happen immediately yeah, 83 existing records updated. Um, I have already brought these um, items into the um, stock. Um, that's fine. You might um, get 83 new ones. In my case, um, they were updated. We're going to close that and go into stock. We're going to look at quantity adjustment. Notice up the top here, it's zero. We're going to press enter. Notice that there is three now. This is the third entry, it's a new entry. There is um, nothing in this entry, so we need to go back to the previous entry. Here you can see this is the import that we have brought in. Um, you can go through and check those. Um, of course, if you would like to um, change things, you can always export. Um, go into Excel and change what you need to change and re-import it back into this entry just to fix things. Um, notice that Delhi black cake slice is 6 for quantity. Um, we actually have 12 in quantity because this is the uh, second entry and the previous entry, entry 1, we've already done it. Um, again, Delhi black cake slice 6, so 6 in the first and 6 in the second entry, which means we, we should have 12. Um, 
we're going to save and close and here to check the stock add modify stock as you can see here deli black cake slice we're going to modify and there you can see although I had six because I've done two entries um, it accumulates the stock level so I'm at 12 now and that is it for importing um, your stock into Retail Man. We hope this uh, video has been very helpful for you. And we hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.